Hello, I'm the Hitchhiker. I just finished up the work on the latest update for the Double May Cry 5 collaborative cheat table, and as it's the most dramatic update so far, I thought it would be a good idea to make a video that introduces some of the table's features to its new users and help refresh and reorient current users. Let's get started. The first and most obvious change is the introduction of the new interface, whereas before you would be greeted with this list of checkboxes upon starting the game, you will now instead get this window, which contains all of the new options. This should make it easier for users to quickly navigate the table and select the options they want. The table is divided into six pages that each cover a different set of changes to the game. The Common Changes tab covers a series of essential options and fixes that will be useful to anyone playing. The options here aren't really cheats, more quality of life changes that bring the gameplay up to the standard of earlier DMC titles. Of particular note are Deep's Turbo and the Inertia settings. Deep's Turbo is a turbo mode that will speed up or slow down the gameplay without affecting the cutscene speed. Simply check the box and adjust the slider until you get a speed you're happy with, or directly type a value into the field on the right. Inertia settings provide options for customizing the game's built-in inertia. Enabling enemy step inertia prevents the game from nullifying your inertia while you enemy step, while the scale adjusts how dramatic the inertia you gain from your moves will be. Practice settings contain options to let you fine-tune the difficulty of the game. Alongside options like invulnerability and infinite DT, you can also independently set the level and enemy difficulty. For example, if you like the enemy variety in Dante Must Die, but are not a fan of the extra health and Devil Trigger they gain, you can set the level difficulty to Dante Must Die while setting the enemy difficulty to Son of Sparta or Devil Hunter. Also included is the reintroduction of a popular gameplay mode, Must Style. Introduced in the DMC reboot, Must Style is a gameplay mode where you have to get your style above a certain ranking before being able to damage the enemy. The trainer lets you set the ranking anywhere from D rank all the way up to triple S, so you can adjust the difficulty to suit your own preference. Try it if you're feeling up for an extra challenge. The next three pages contain a series of character-specific cheats. Of particular interest here is the new interface for the Nero Breaker Switcher mod. Activating this mod lets you swap between Devil Breakers by pressing the D-pad. Pressing Configure Switcher allows us to assign various breakers to the eight locations on the D-pad and allows for keyboard shortcuts to be assigned to each of the 12 slots. The key codes for each hotkey can be found on the website linked in the description. The Breaker Switcher mod dramatically increases the depth of Nero's gameplay, so I hope this new interface makes it easier to use. Finally, the other tab contains a series of miscellaneous cheats, along with a set of animation mods that let you change how certain animations can be cancelled in-game. These now include a set of cancel options for playable Virgil that make him more responsive and easier to use. Once you have your game tweaked exactly the way you want, you can save your settings for future use. The table includes 9 profiles that can be used to store settings. Profile 1 is automatically loaded when you start the trainer. People familiar with the cheat table may notice certain options missing, or further customization not being available. This UI is a work in progress, so by clicking on View, then Show Legacy Window, you'll be able to access the old table and customize it to your heart's content over there. I've put a lot of work into cleaning up the look and feel of this table, with the goal of making it appealing to use for both hardcore players and casual fans, so I hope you'll check it out. Now that this update is finished, I'm going to be taking a quick break before putting the finishing touches on my personal project and including it in the next release. I've been working on it for the past three months, and I think you'll be very excited by some of its features. Please look forward to it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.